All right, guys, Papa Pepper here with another episode of the Wild Man's Wild Friends. This happens to be a brand new one for me, another brand new one from a Texas edition. This is the ox beetle, and I can vouch that they're kind of uh, they're kind of strong as an ox. Uh, three times it escaped from different places I had it. It uh, forced its way out of a cardboard box and uh, plastic cups and some other stuff at home. I just put it in a jar but uh, kind of traveling didn't have as many resources and uh, scientific name something like Strategus aloeus um, it is a kind of rhinoceros beetle you can see this one's got kind of three different points on its head kind of like a triceratops the dinosaur almost now uh, the big males are going to look like this um, they're common in South America uh, Central America, Mexico, and there's some in the United States too. Um, this one, you know, it's it's my first. I never encountered it before. Had to do a little research research to see even what I was dealing with. Um, here it is directly next to my face. That's a pretty good sized beetle. And uh, so, like other beetles, these guys start out underground um, as a grub, and the grub grows. It can take actually up to half a year. For the grubs to get as big as they need to be to turn into their uh, pupil stage, and they turn into these beetles. These beetles can also live for a half year, so you know, if this guy was just fresh out the soil, he could be running around, you know, six months from now, still alive, which is pretty cool. Um, as an underground grub, they'll run around and uh, I'll crawl around, burrow around and uh, eat uh, roots and stuff like that. But the adults, uh, they don't eat as much. But they will eat uh, fruit, and uh, they will eat flowers. And some people actually keep these as pets. You can actually order them online. Um, and they say just, you know, give them an apple slice every once in a while to keep them happy. So, kind of crazy, kind of cool. Now, uh, there's two variations of the adult. There's a male and a female in the species. And there's, uh, there's what they call major males and minor males. The minor males have the front spike. But they don't have the back two, so they're kind of a one-horned uh, ox beetle in the rhinoceros family. But the major males, <clears throat> they have three. So this guy here is a major male. <clears throat> uh, in the summer here, these guys are going to be more active at night. We found this one uh, attracted to a, a porch light late at night, and uh, I got called over, and I thought, wow, this is amazing, this is incredible. And, Nice thing is, even though Mama Pepper doesn't like all these things per se, uh, as much as the Little Peppers and I do, I still get called over to check things out, so that's great. And uh, like I said, they're more active at night, so during the day, they actually uh, burrow. They'll dig down into the sand and just kind of hide there. Um, during the day, escape the heat, find somewhere safe to be, and uh, then they're able to uh, come back out again at... Uh, at night, so these guys, uh, they're harmless. It's not really gonna hurt me. I guess I could poke myself a little bit with the horn, but there's nothing, no threat they're really gonna uh, form, uh, pose to me. And then as well, uh, I guess they're a lot of fun to play with, especially for kids and stuff, so. The rhinoceros beetle variety called the ox beetle. So, another first for Papa Pepper. Very cool beetle, and uh, all right. Pop out. As always, I'm Papa Pepper, and I'd like to remind you, don't post for free. If you'd like to be part of a revolution in social media, an economic power to the people where users can actually blog for cryptocurrency, then I'd recommend that you check out steamit.com and join the revolution. Pop out.